What rubbish! What bald airs! You must have read something terribly disturbing, Watson, for you to be so overwrought this early in the morning. Indeed, Holmes. It's irresponsible of the Times to play upon people's superstitions. Ah! You must be referring to the affair of the mummy's curse. Had the entire city in an uproar. Three men dead, and they expect us to believe that a 4,000-year-old mummy was the murderer. I'm surprised you haven't taken some interest in this case, Holmes. To the contrary, my dear Watson. I have made some inquiries, because I dare say I do believe this murderer is a much younger chap. Pettigrew wrote this book over 50 years ago, and there's still nothing better on the subject. Fascinating. Just fascinating. And what can I do for you today, Whitson? It's Watson, sir. Watson, yes, of course. We're interested in what you may have learned about this mummy case. Oh, so these days it's mummies you're chasing down with that fella, Helms. It's Holmes, sir. This is what I said now, isn't it, Whitson? Yes, I believe you did, sir. Uh, let me show you what I found so far. Uh, this is the bit of linen that was found round the neck of James Windebank. I examined it thoroughly and it is quite old, perhaps thousands of years. However, it is not the murder weapon. Are you certain of that? Aye. The linen is quite old, but it's not at all strong enough to strangle a grown man. Very interesting, sir. I also found something quite fascinating. Uh, take a look through this glass. Uh, do you see those short hairs on the fabric? They look precisely like hairs. Of course they look like hairs, but what kind of hairs? They're not human hairs, they're dog hairs. Now, look at this. This piece of linen was found round the neck of the victim on board the ship. Well, his name was Leatherby or something. Uh, it is also quite old, and on it I found more hairs. More dog hairs? No, my dear man, monkey hairs. I've not yet been able to identify the precise species, but it's just extraordinary, isn't it? Quite. But what do you think it all means? Well, I'm not the sort who likes to jump to conclusions, Whitson. But I can assure you that neither of these bandages were the murder weapons. Mm -hmm. 